Hello, I'm back with some more Killer is Dead. Episode 5 The Woman Who Eats Dreams. So, at this point, what is this? A Dream Eater? Hmm, good title. Let's see. Unknown client, target unknown. Okay, so we've got shit for information. Sure, why not? Seriously, I don't know, or I don't need to know. But frankly, I'm gonna start pausing every time these things happen, or I'm gonna rewatch the footage. Huh, seems I took the same drug Max Payne did. Whoa. Moon. Seriously, man, Suda, you've got some crazy imagination. Which is good. <laughs> Very good. What was that all about? <laughs> but it does have somewhat of a resonance to what was in the loading screen. You guys remember, there was a small glimpse at Wake Up. any branching paths I can't even dash but the moon is right there it reminds me of the baby okay yeah no more other M jokes for now wait there's really nothing here huh you know you'd think that would be a pad where they would just troll you and reward you if you at least pass there, but doesn't seem the case for now. This seems to be much more serious. Let us stare at the moon. Seems to be a big symbol in here. Main character named Mondo main antagonist who technically repossessed the moon and now it is This is my memory.
So I guess I was a bratty child who couldn't even eat his eggs. So I guess this is the part where I have to go here. <laughs> Seriously, what does all this have to do with my contract? Is it someone from the past? Am I gonna have to fight my dad? Or am I gonna have to find out that David is my dad? Wait, no. Half-brother or something. Eh, age. But then again, what does all this have to do with the moon and this space and me? I mean, that figure seemed to be eaten or possessed by a dark spirit. Now I can't go back. It's like walking a road that simply forces you to go forward. Where there's no escape or there's no way to go back. I guess you can't go back from your choices. You know what's sticking in this scene? A unicorn. As a kid, you earning that unicorn is, well, quite messed up. Then again, it's a different universe. And the girl in red, couldn't she be... What's her name? Your boss. Not big boss, but boss. What's happening to the moon? I guess the sister's name was Moon River. Enough with these memories? Crap, I don't seem to have blood. Yeah, those previous, uh, you guys remember, I did try to take on some side mission. Just to get back into the flow of the game, so I would suck less. 
Ooh, right, right, right. Split yourself in tree. What? Okay, what's going on here? Oh, shit. Transmutation. That's not me. I have to fight myself? That unexpected experience. Oh, God. Damn it. What the? No, the other way. Oh, right. So I'm fighting. I'm still fighting here. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Okay, so stun locks won't work. Alright. Whoa! There was no way I could have dodged that one. Could you could you stop? Okay, this is becoming a bit annoying. Might as well just use that blood to regenerate. So here's a trick. Don't touch the specters. Or don't let these fuckers touch you. Or else your view gets substituted. Or... Oh jeez, what's going on? Hey! That's right, you're the real one. Oh fuck. Come on, come on, just walk away. Ow. <laughs> okay. Um... Walking away is a bit more difficult than expected. Actually, ah, oh, it still sucks me in. I was hoping to try and uh, just pass along and such. Thank you for your blood. I'm just taking a wild guess that the one with the vortex beam is the one I have to take down. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, there you are. Hey, how are you? Okay, the other shadow's coming. Oh, God. I do have a freeze beam now. Not again. Come on. Wait. Oh, I see. Nope, that was not right. Maybe just running along it? Mm, okay, well, that was a good try. You're not the one. Nope. Alright, so each piece of her is damaged. Alright. Let's just hack it out. At the same time, watching out for the shadows, but hey, 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 stay over here. Oh. Come on. Oh, curse you. I'll still take you out. Come on. Just give me back my body and stuff. It's okay. As long as I do an equivalent amount of damage to try and get back some of my blood. And then making sure that at least one of them is taken down. Ironically enough, I should be using her uh, phase beam 
to my advantage, but not like that. Like, just being able to not take the hit, but just subtly dodging it whenever it's coming in. At least I can keep track of her with the punch attack, which is quite fun. I have no clue what hit me. Imagining laser beam. Okay. Where does that end? Confusion does not rest. Ruin River. You must have been having a nightmare. Sorry, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. When exactly was it we met again? According to my memories, it wasn't long ago. Where did you live when you were a child? On the dark side of the moon, my entire life. Of course you did. Is something the matter? Queen of Dreams. She must be playing tricks on me. So basically, did I just fight the Queen of Dreams? And basically, he might be considering that princess as her or his sister wow so much what the fuck i mean instead of calling this dream eater maybe this should have been i don't know wtf moon river Dream Eater, huh. I don't even consider that a contract, though. All sorts of random. Well, time to buy some more gifts, right? Hmm. And technically, this is gonna be what I'll go next. Or, what I'll go for next. Basically, I'm stocking up on gifts because if you, um, technically if you run out of gifts in the Gigolo missions, you are gone. And you start from the beginning. So sometimes you just gotta figure out which one's the right girl, which one, bah, which one's the right gift for the right girl. Frankly, why didn't I look at this earlier? I have limiters? Huh. Interesting. I see, so I have some new moves. Seeing the amount of cash I could just either go for one of these. Uh, I love the dash. Card crush would be something. That's a back dash poke. That's a launcher. That's 
kind of interesting. Kind of a counter attack. Jeez, that could have been perfect. Maybe I should save up for that. Oh. Bullet time. Man, uh, I'm sorry I'm taking a bit more choice, but uh, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I'm definitely going for the counter. So I'll just purchase it. I can level it up. Oh, 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 oh. oh delicious. From a distance. Okay, well, I might as well get Stinger here. And next is going to be the counter. Which I'm going to love. I'm quite sure, looking at that picture, I'm going to love that counter. Usually, I would just cut it short right here. But, might as well uh, have a bit more fun, right? Oh, yeah, and I got my ass handed in those new... Uh, challenges they're a bit tougher but I imagine okay well basically I'd have to upgrade my moves to do a better performance on those uh, challenge because a lot of them are asking you let's say time specific you got to kill a specific enemies and with your standard moves you're boned now let's see what happens if I do that one again her nickname is the Pheromone and she's Brazilian, so let's try giving her perfume. Maybe that's going to be a bit better. But uh, frankly, this game is awkward. This game has a lot of gaming interaction, but it's a lot of fun. It's a whole different universe. It's not trying to be realistic nor serious business, so it's right up my alley. I think you could use a little break from work. Z, it's all a timing thing. You gotta watch. Subtle nuances of her animation. And of course, you being a complete creeper. Of course, not pushing your luck all the time, because I'm pretty sure she's going to be annoyed. I heard a lot about the fail animations. Have a gift, which will be... Some perfume. This is for you. A present for me. Oh, you make me so happy. You even give presents. Wow, that worked like gangbusters. What the? Stop distracting me in my love making. Completely perverted. I feel like a creeper just doing this. I know you like perfume, so have a rose. Thank you for everything. I want to know what your love's like. So. It's the second time we meet, and frankly, you've got awesome hair. Ever seen what my drill arm could do? <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's got some multiple functions. I mean, frankly, yeah. Actually, I do want to know more. 
But then again, that's why I have this arm. Personally, you can tell me it'll come in quite handy. And seriously, I didn't even need to do this Mass Effect bullshit. Seriously, guys, I'm wondering if this came a bit too close. <laughs> wow. So my X Buster became much better. I mean, really charge cannon. Ready? You're coming to see me again, right? I do hope I get to see her again. Seriously, this is quite awkward, but funny as hell. Raise your guts in order to give her presents. And then make sure you have the right present or you're fucked. Mm, somewhat like that. Oddly enough, I could revisit the geisha. Seeing that you guys haven't seen her, uh, I could technically purchase another gift and do it again, right? Okay, well, whoever is kind of bored of those missions, skip on to the next video. Because basically I'm not going to dive into another mission. Um, let's see, might as well give her a bracelet. Always keeping a stock of those, just in case. Maybe it's a mistake of mine. Um, maybe I should save up. Yeah, I should definitely save up. But technically, getting those girls, or having a good time with those girls, get me extra weapons. So, it's a balance. Let's see. Golden Geisha, traditional restaurant, and I think she's the one that called me during my lovemaking. Seriously, who's going to take care of my lovemaking if I keep getting interrupted? Yo. Mondo-san, thank you for coming. Please make yourself a home. Oh, please don't stare so much. Sometimes you got to watch out. The timing is just nuts. Hey, have a gift. It shall be a bouquet of flower. This is for you. I'm not sure she's into flowers. Oh, okay. I took a punch to the face. Jeez, Natalia's calling me again. I keep getting this lovemaking business. Actually, creepo business at this point. Do you feel satisfied? Oh, I'm not getting much here. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. It's like, come on. You might as well look at her face to get some more guts, right? Are you this shy? You're a guy wielding a katana. Just show her the katana. She'll be impressed. Okay, well, have a lunar bracelet. Or a set of it. Oh, come on! Oddly enough, I still won her heart with it. Stop looking at me. That's right. Oh. Tricky. Very tricky. See, this is the most awkward person. Okay, <laughs> give her the worst gift. Have a plain chewing gum. I do. 
But then again, there wasn't much left to your heart meter. I've just met you, but I feel like we're in some kind of a samurai movie. So you're kind of cool. Let us go to my room and... I'll show you my katana. I mean, seriously, man, have you seen the previous videos? It'll chop shit into pieces. Oh, oh, and it it's also uh, looks cool under the moonlight. This setting, your eyes, your cloak, my katana. It all works out, but at the same time, I'm a bit of a creeper. I might as well <laughs> unravel what's behind your clothes. Also, have you noticed I have one fucked up arm? I mean, robotic arms nowadays, they're rare. I mean, you can't stop laughing whenever Thank this happens. I'll be awaiting your return. Maybe I'll return soon. But you gave me a moon crystal ore. That is, well, interesting. Seriously, man, after lovemaking, the guy is still at full energy and goes, Yeah! Yes! Yes! You can do it! You can win! Oh, <laughs> uh, no, the worst part is Natasha called. No, wait. Yeah, there you go. Natasha called. So you can do that mission again, but right now, I don't have that much money for gifts, and you guys are pretty bored if you stick, <laughs> stick to this point. So... Next video, we're going to episode 6, who is an ear thief or ear eater, nah, something like that. We'll figure it out. Later, guys.